All right, that's a perfect segue to our next piece. For those of you who were here on Tuesday, you saw the Gratitude Award finalists pitch. Always a highlight to see the entrepreneurs on stage. And hopefully you voted over the course of the last three days. We've got for-profit and non-profit entrepreneurs who have all chosen their model wisely, I'm sure. And now we'll hear who's winning the award. So I want to welcome to the stage Randy Haken. Hi, everyone. Well, I was asked this morning what I most enjoyed about SOCAP this week, and my reply was acceleration. No, not the Blue Angels, but the acceleration that I really sensed this week from two directions. And I wanted to thank SOCAP for creating a tremendous acceleration for the impact space. What my observation was that we not only had top down, but we had bottoms up, both. Top down, we had billion dollar hedge funds up on stage talking about their desire to make impact. And we had hundreds of entrepreneurs that we're gonna speak about for a few minutes here running around, uh, meeting, um, getting investors excited about what they're doing. So the theme really has been, for me, has been acceleration. Um, the SOCAP Gratitude Awards are really about this acceleration with the entrepreneurs. And SOCAP has a, done a great job of allowing us to, uh, can we back up a couple of slides? Good, perfect. SOCAP's uh, provided a great opportunity for us to um, allow for this acceleration. We started back in the spring, and 547 uh, applicants applied to SOCAP 134 scholarships were given out to allow entrepreneurs to be here, which I think is tremendous. From that, the Gratitude Network chose 33 semi-finalists. And from those, the nine finalists who presented on Tuesday. The idea being that these nine finalists would find some way to accelerate them over the coming year as an example of the kinds of entrepreneurs that are coming through SOCAP. So we're going to announce four awards this morning for those nine finalists. And um, just to, thank, just to uh, tell you that the um, awardees and the nine folks are all going to receive one year of deep mentorship from the Gratitude Network. So that will include our team, which is primarily a Silicon Valley-based uh, team that will be working with strategy on them strategic coaches who will be facilitating introductions to more than 50 global mentors. In addition to that, the four winners that we're going to announce will be matched to a super mentor, and they'll have an expense paid trip to the Bay Area for a powwow. Who are the super mentors? Um, you may know some of these folks. They range from well-known venture capital and angel folks to Ed over at Pixar, who's helping design the future for entertainment. So we're looking forward to having them work with the entrepreneurs. I wanted to thank SOCAP very much for allowing us to be uh, sharing uh, this award process with them. We've truly enjoyed it. I also wanted to point out that we had several other sponsors who have contributed in-kind uh, gifts uh, that will help the entrepreneurs out. And in particular, I wanted to thank Leslie Kyle from Hanson Bridget. You want to raise your hand there? And, um, they're an example of a partner that will help with the acceleration. So they have given us uh, quite a few in-kind hours that will be applied to the nine finalists. And um, also, I wanted to thank uh, RazorThink, which does uh, development work. They're based in India. They're an awesome product development group. We found last year that this was one of the, both the legal services and product development kept coming up with the entrepreneurs who were the winners. Um, last year, we honored four uh, folks on the stage, and I wanted to bring up Minas Chaudhry, who uh, at Drinkwell uh, will represent those four winners. Thanks. Yeah, you probably don't need that. Okay. Thanks, Randy. So it's a pleasure to be back. So at Drinkwell, we aim to transform the global water crisis 
that affects over 200 million people in India and Bangladesh alone into entrepreneurial opportunity. And around this time last year, we had about 200 systems, each serving about 1,250 people in five countries, India, Bangladesh, Laos, Cambodia, and Nepal. And so we really asked the Gratitude Network, Randy, how can we really scale? So he flew us out here in the Bay Area in March, and we had a series of productive meetings with debt providers, the most scarce instrument in the sector. And we learned from conversations with organizations like Kiva that it was really challenging to flow funds in and out of countries like India and Bangladesh. And so what that did is really inform follow-up conversations we had throughout the sector with other funders such as DFID, who I'm happy to share, have now provided a 0% interest working debt facility for large-scale infrastructure projects that we're working on in India. And so this quarter, we've actually launched four systems that can actually give 200,000 liters an hour, so that's 200x larger than what we were working with last year, to up to 40,000 people. And that kind of scale and reach, we can really thank Randy and the Gratitude Network for. So in many ways, I think of Randy as a virtual chairman of the board, and I'm really excited for the next year's class to really earn some of those um, really amazing guidance. So with that, I'd like to welcome Paul to present this year's awardees. Um, we have nine finalists that are representing three different categories, and at this moment, I'd like them all to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Thank you. You can be seated. So. Of the first uh, category we have up is called Community Development, and we have three companies, and let me just give you a one-liner about each one so you know what they do. Uh, KarenX enables health workers to serve remote villagers with mobile diagnostic kits. Next, we have City Taps. They are providing water connections to the urban poor with a smart water meter system. And Vendetti is creating a mobile marketplace that connects travelers to street vendors of the developing world. And the winner is Vendetti, Christine Souffrant. Congratulations. There you go. The next category we have is education, and Library for All has developed a digital library solution for countries with limited access to educational books. The Reset Foundation is launching a, a network of campuses aimed at breaking the poverty to prison cycle through a program of education and career readiness. And Zana Africa provides health, education, and products that help girls finish their schooling. And the winner is the Reset Foundation, Woo! Jane Mitchell. <laughs> Congratulations. The third category is environmental sustainability. Uh, carbon Analytics has created a software program that allows businesses to track their carbon footprint through accounting data. CASA designs and builds sustainable low-cost housing that incorporates energy, water, and sanitation. And Waste Capital Partners is working with local governments uh, to redirect organic waste to create compost for farmers. And the winner is Carbon Analytics. Woo! Congrats, man. Yes. 
And we asked the audience uh, to vote on their people's choice, and this was amongst all nine of the finalists to just cast a vote for one of these companies. And the people's choice winner is Casa Antonio Aguilar. So on behalf of the Gratitude Network, we really want to thank the entire SOCAP community and congratulations to all of our finalists. Thank you. You guys can... Fantastic.